Wisconsin Master Naturalist. Thank you for joining us for Nature Around the Corner. Today's video are, is on the frogs of Wisconsin. There are 12 frogs that call Wisconsin home. So let's just jump right in and see what nature has in store for us around the corner. We are at 4-H Camp Riverside in southern Sheboygan County. Here we're surrounded by marshes and wetlands, the perfect habitat for frogs. And as you can hear behind me, we have quite a symphony of frogs going on today. Some of the frogs that we might be hearing include the wood frog, which has a quacking type of sound. We might be hearing the northern chorus frog, which sounds like someone running their finger across the comb. The northern leopard frog, which has a snoring sound. The spring peeper, which has a high tomato sound. And we might be hearing the trill of a toad. Now as the waters warm, as the summer progresses and the waters warm up, there'll be other frogs joining in the chorus. And some of these frogs will include the green frog, it has a sound of a banjo string. We'll be hearing from the gray tree frog. The northern cricket frog. And finally, we'll be hearing from the biggest frog of all, the bullfrog. He has a sound of jug -a rum Frogs are part of a family of critters called amphibians. Amphibians spend part of their life on land and part of their life in water. They begin their life cycle as tadpoles. Tadpoles have fish-like gills that allow them to breathe. Now these bodies of water are generally free of predators because frogs don't have any real natural defenses. Depending on the size of the frog, some tadpoles live in the water for a few months, others for a few years. Once they emerge as mature frogs, most frogs don't move too far from the body of water and most require damp, moist areas in which to live. Frogs are something called exothermic, meaning that they're cold-blooded. Humans are warm-blooded that help us to survive the harsh, cold winters of Wisconsin. Frogs, however, don't have that luxury. So when the temperatures begin to drop, they look for warm, cozy places to winter. It may be under a rock, maybe under a log, or the bottom of a pond. When the temperatures hit freezing, ice crystals begin to form in their body, and the water pulls away from their vital organs. The sugars in their blood become sort of an antifreeze that protect those organs from freezing. Soon, their heart stops beating, their kidneys stop working, and if you were to find a frog in this state, you would think it was dead. But at last, the warm spring sun will begin to thaw the frogs out. And most frogs will thaw within 12 hours and return to a normal frog life. One really cool fact about frogs is that although they have lungs, they actually breathe through their skin. What does that mean for us humans? Simply that we should look but don't touch. Many of the chemicals that we have on our skin, such as perfumes and lotions and bug repellents, are actually toxic and can be deadly to the frog. So when you see a frog, enjoy, look, but please don't touch. If you would like to learn more about frogs, their habitat, their life cycle, their different types of calls, and when you can hear those calls, 
Just Google Wisconsin frogs. Thank you for joining us for Nature Around the Corner. I hope you enjoyed today's video. You know, I like to celebrate spring, and there's no better way to celebrate spring than with frogs. And I thought about a couple of activities that we could do. Perhaps a frog symphony by just collecting a few simple household items and getting creative with our voices, we can create our own frog orchestra. Or maybe a frog Olympics. That would include a leapfrog relay, a bullfrog long jump. Bullfrogs are known to be able to jump 16 feet in one leap. Or a toad trill. Trilling is simply whistling and humming at the same time. Toads can do this for over 30 seconds. So again, thank you for joining us. And, and until next time, this has been Tom Lentz with Nature Around the Corner.